Welcome to Yogaya Hip and Shoulder Opening Routine Reinvent Yourself. Start sitting in a comfortable cross-legged pose with your spine nice and long, your chin parallel to the floor. Bring the hands into the shoulders and rotate the shoulders externally, exhaling and contracting your belly. On the inhale, open the shoulders. Exhale, contract. Each time, deepen the contraction as you exhale and expand further outwards as you inhale, opening the entire shoulder girdle rotating in and out, out and in. Bend your right elbow, reach your left hand into your right elbow and take a twist here, stretching the shoulder blade and the deltoid. Side bend as you tilt your spine sideways, keeping your hand on your elbow Twist further and come back to the center. Come back into eagle bind, wrapping your forearms and your hands. Take a twist to your left. Keep your spine nice and long. The rotation comes from the hips. Gently twist the other way. Keep your chin parallel to the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Feel your scapula opening and broadening. Release the bind. Take the shoulder rotation in the other direction, expanding outwards and caving in. From the back to the front. And again, opening from the lower back, feeling the whole ripple move up to the cervical spine and down. Exhale, let your head participate freely in the movement as an extension of the spine. Contract, exhale. Bend your left elbow, reach your right hand to your left elbow twist here from the pelvic girdle. Lengthen on the inhale, twist on the exhale, side bend and tilt your body, stretching the intercostal muscles here, continuing the stretch in your shoulder. Come back into eagle bind wrapping your forearms and your hands and twist to the right this time. Gaze back and down. Breathe normally here. And center. Twist the other way. Make sure the shoulders are pressing down. Reach your arms over the head, clasping both elbows, interlacing the hands behind and breathing here. Contract your belly, cave your spine in and open. Expand. Exhale, feel the cave. Create more space in your pelvis. Keep on holding on to your elbows and upper arms. Center yourself and take a hug, placing the left arm over the right, contracting here as you point the elbows down. Breathe, stretch your spine, feel the scapula opening and release the bind. Bring your hands behind your pelvis, undo your legs. Press the feet into the floor, lift your hips up into tabletop pose. Shoulders rotate open, exhale, bring your hips to your heels, cave in. Inhale, open. 
exhale, massaging the spine and the shoulders. Release, gaze at your navel, stretching the entire spine open here, preparing the shoulders for further and deeper openers. Breathe, expand through your sternum. And exhale, walk your hands closer to your heels, very cautiously in front of your knees, ground your feet into the floor. Bend your left knee, interlace your fingers at the small of your back. Keep your right leg straight. Lift your spine and twist here. Opening the shoulders and the hips, switch other side. Bend the right knee, straighten your left, twist and gaze up and back into the diagonal. and round up, step your left foot and your right, bend your elbows, hands point down, take a twist to the right, still prepping the shoulders for deeper openers to come. Ground through all the corners of your feet and twist the other way. Press the hands together Lengthen your spine, close the ribs in, bend your knees here, fold over the legs. Release your nose into your knees. And rest your hands into the floor, straighten your spine, lengthen up, prepare pose. Exhale, step one leg and then the other into downward facing dog. Bend your right knee, transfer your weight forward into plank, dropping the knee down and exhale, switch other side. Bend the left knee, twist gaze through and under the right armpit, twist the whole body and back into down dog. Forward plank, Drop the left knee down, lengthen your spine, exhale, bend the right knee, twist and gaze under your left armpit. Lengthen here. Feel the traction in your spine. Bring both knees to the floor, release your belly into the floor, interlace your fingers at the small of the back, curl the toes under and twist. Gazing over your right shoulder. Center. Open through the left. Keep your toes curled under. Walk the feet closer. Come into a worm position, slightly lifting your pelvis and drawing your knees into your navel. As you clasp your hands firmly and drop the shoulders away from the ears. Release here, frame the body with the hands. Lift your right leg up and as you exhale, bring it over to the side. Set it sideways. Bend the knee, sweep your right arm, stretch your groin, and then flex the foot, swing the arm the other way, open the shoulder. And one more time, bend the right knee, place your right hand to the inside of the right foot and swing the other arm up and over into the diagonal. Rotate your torso away from your externally rotated thigh. Hold the front of your body and the back and twist even more. Take a bind here. It's optional. If the bind is too much, stay holding the front and the back. Open your shoulders. Soften the front ribs. As you bring your hands in front of you, 
Bring the left so the shoulder is over the wrist. Thread your right arm through and flex the right foot again. Feel the stretch in your shoulder and the adductor, the inner thigh muscle. Breathe here. Gently come out of it. Curl the back foot under, reach your right leg up. Open the hip, ground through the left heel, and thread the leg through in a gentle pigeon stretch. Curling the back foot under, breathe here. Find the squareness of your hips, bring your right arm around to your left thigh and stretch your spine. Breathe deeper here. Keep on lengthening your spine. The back foot is curled under. As you clasp the foot with your hand, begin to open the shoulder and gaze up and over your right shoulder. Trying to square the hips here as much as possible, pushing the leg back and opening through the shoulder girdle. Release from the bind. Hold your left ankle with your left arm, your right shoulder with your right hand. Bend over, hinging at the crease of your hip and release your shoulder into your thigh. Twist here and stretch your quad. As you bring the right hand to the side, regroup to come into a seated spinal twist, grounding through both sit bones and wrapping your left leg around the right thigh. Shimmy your shoulder into your knee. Fan your palm. Either stay here or attempt a bind with your left arm moving behind your neck reaching for the right fingertips. As you push your head into your elbow and forearm, stretch your spine and twist even more. Otherwise, stay with your palm open. Release the bind. Transfer your weight forward. Push. Step your right leg back and prepare for a warrior two. Your front heel and your back arch are in one line. Extend your arms. Engage for the back leg. Taking another scapula bind here, wrap your left hand around your right scapula. Take a clasp with your left fingertips into the right and bend the front knee. Gently start to twist here, gazing forward with your left knee bend and twist. Straighten the knee and spiral back. As you re-bend your left knee, Pierce the air with your elbow, dropping it down, gazing towards the outside edge of the back foot. Keeping the bind here behind your scapula. Reach up, hinge at the crease of your left hip, and come into a long diagonal. Keeping the bind, if possible, here or just hugging your shoulders with both arms. Release the arms down. Transfer your weight forward to come into a half moon pose. Bend your right knee, flex the foot. Clasp the ankle or the shin and start to open your chest, opening through the shoulder and the quad. Breathing in here, release from half moon pose. 
Drop your right hand and your right foot. Transfer the weight. Come up into shark bind, hugging your neck with your left arm and reaching your right arm from behind for a clasp. Hinge at the creases of your hips and lengthen into a flat back. Your left foot is flexed, your right knee is slightly bent. Come back up. Reach your left leg up. Try to maintain the sharky bind or release the bind. Dropping the foot down and regrouping your right leg forward to come into a twisted right angle. Bring the hands into prayer at the center of your heart. Engage for the back leg and twist deeper. If you wish, you could take a bind here. If the bind is too much, stay in namaste, twisting and gazing back. Spiraling into your core, drop the hands down. Transfer your weight forward and drop down into a seated position and then into a bull seat, grounding through both sit bones, taking classical bull seat bind as you bend both elbows and you reach for the fingertips at your cervical spine, stretch your spine into a flat back. Soften your front ribs. Your right knee is stacked on top of the left. Stretching the hip here, lengthen deeper. Release further. If the bind is too much, simply keep your elbows bent and press them into your spine. Release from the bind. Transfer your weight back. Come onto the metatarsal of your right foot and flatten into your left foot and gaze over your right shoulder into an eagle bind tabletop here. Drop the pelvis down and take ankle to knee. Flexing your feet to protect the knees and taking once more eagle bind. The left elbow rests into the crease of the right arm. Twist to your left. Take a tilt with your spine. Lengthen. Press the hands into your chin. Lift your elbows up, drop your shoulders down, stretch the scapula. And release. With your arms crisscrossing in front of you, walk the fingertips away from the core and bend over into the ankle to knee position. Gently round up. Take your right foot with your right arm. Coming into an archer variation here, hug the shin with the forearm and upper arm and press your knee back as you stretch your spine up. Hug the shin even closer to your ribs. Push the knee back and extend your left arm forward. Stretch your spine. Feel the stretch in the hip. As you reach your left arm back, take a twist or directly a shoulder bind, hugging the right thigh into the ribs, pressing the shoulders down. 
Lengthen here. Rest your right foot to meet your left. And take another twist, opening through the shoulder and the hip simultaneously and bringing your left hand to your right knee, opening your right arm up into a diagonal. Reach the right hand into your left knee and bend over into butterfly position, stretching the scapula here with your arms crisscrossed at the center of your heart. Go deeper, scoop the belly in. And gently round up. Swing your arms behind you. Flatten the feet into the ground. Lift your hips up. Drop the head down, tabletop. Rotate the shoulders outwards. Walk the hands to your heels as you lift your heels up. Drop into forward bend, your hands in front of your feet. Hold your ears and your skull with your hands and take a twist, gazing to your right from underneath, lengthening the spine and twist, gaze to the left, your elbows are bent, your knees are straight. Come back into a forward bend and walk your feet into downward facing dog. Forward plank, hug your ribs, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Mind your shoulders here, open them. Drop through the tailbone, soften the front ribs. Lift your left leg up and take it over to the side. Bend the left knee, bring your right hand into the mat, sweep your left arm as you go into a side lunge and flexing the left foot, open the arm in the opposite direction. Keep expanding through the fingertips, fanning all the fingers, re-bend the knee Transfer your weight into right angle. Reach your right arm over the head. Push your left thigh with your left upper arm and forearm. Breathe here. Feel the length through the sides. And attempt a bind here. If a bind is too much, you can hold the front and the back of the body. Still encouraging the torsional rotation around the axis. Release the hands, regroup forward, looping your left arm through this time and flexing your left foot actively as you open through the shoulder and the hip flexor. As you stretch the hamstrings and the adductors. Twist more and slowly come up. Curl the right foot under, swing your left leg up. Lengthen here, open the hip. Press all the knuckles of your hands, root through the heel and set your left folded leg into a pigeon. Your left arm moves into your right hips or the side of the waist. Lengthen your spine. Gaze forward. Your right elbow is bent. Your shoulders are free. The hips are opening gently. Clasping the foot with the hand, just lifting your torso up Right foot, left hand, flex the foot. Feel the opening through your left shoulder here. And release from the bind. 
tip to the left slightly. Grab the right foot with the right hand. Bring your left arm to the right shoulder. And as you hinge at your left hip crease, come down into a side tilt. Allow your hand to push the shoulder open, the top of the foot to rotate the scapula outwards. Releasing from the bind, swing your leg around and place your right foot into your left thigh. Drop both sit bones down. Hug the thigh closer into the chest. Shimmy your shoulder into your knee. And this time, point your hand back to reach for the bind. If the bind is too much, hold your hand open and rotate your other arm behind your spine. If you can bind here, bend both elbows and reach the right arm over to clasp with your left hand. Undo the bind. Transfer your weight forward. And transition into warrior two, cartwheeling the arms. This time warrior two with your right leg. As you bend the front knee, engage through the back leg. Seal the outside edge of the foot. Take your right hand over to the left scapula and take a bind, bending the left elbow and reaching with your left fingertips into your right for a clasp. Gaze back, bend your front knee, slowly rotate the torso forward. And as you exhale, straighten both knees, spiral back. Retain the bind if you can. If the bind is too much here, you can just hold your scapula. Now drop your elbow down and point it towards the outside edge of the back foot. Bend your front knee. Stretch sideways here. Coming back to the center, keep the bind. Take a hinge at the crease of your hip and a slight forward bend in the diagonal. Release the bind. Bend both knees. Walk your hands in front of your right foot. Reach your left leg up. Flex the left foot. Clasp the left ankle with your left hand. Point the foot down and seal your heel to the seat. As you open the left shoulder here in this variation of half moon, release your left hand down and your left foot. Flex your right. Taking sharky bind here, wrap your left arm around your neck with your fingers pointing down. As you bend your right elbow, reach the fingertips to merge with the left hand. Flex your right foot, keeping the bind hinge at the creases of your hip. Your left knee is bent. Your right knee is straight. Lift back up. Trying to maintain the bind as we come into warrior three. And drop out of it. Push your left leg forward into a lunge. Shoulders away from the ears. Slowly accommodate your right shoulder into your left knee, your hands into prayer at the center of your heart. Gaze back and twist as you exhale. As you inhale, feel the oppositional pull. If you wish, you can bind here, reaching the right arm under and around the right ribs and the left arm clasping the right. Release from the bind.
transfer your weight forward gently to come down for a bull seat. Restructure your position, stacking the left knee over the right this time. Reach your left arm up and over. Bend your right elbow and reach the fingertips for a bull seat bind. Lengthen your spine. Flex your feet to protect the knee joint and flatten your spine as you gaze down, slowly hinging at the creases of your hips, opening the shoulders. Release the bind. Take the other side. As you feel your shoulders are now more open, twist sideways, lengthening through the sides into a gentle tilt and gazing under the upper arm. Gaze down, keep the bind. If not, release the bind and press your hands into your spine. Bring the hands behind you and take this eagle tabletop variation as you press into the metatarsals with your left leg wrapped around the right and you open through the shoulder girdle. Release your hips down. Come into ankle to knee. This time with the eagle bind, the right elbow moves into the left the forearms and the hands wrap into each other as you twist over to the right. Come to the center and twist to your left. Keep on flexing your feet and activating the creases of the hips. Press your hands into the chin now. Opening the throat center and the thymus gland, lengthen your spine, undo the bind with your arms crisscrossed at the center, walk the fingertips away from your core and take a forward bend. Round slowly up. Take the left outside edge of the foot with both hands opening into a variation of archer both elbows are bent shoulders away from the ears hug the shin deeper into your ribs and extend your right arm forward as you push the left knee back lengthen your spine drop the sit bones down Attempt a bind if you wish here, or just stay with your spine nice and tall, hugging your thigh into your ribs. Gaze over to the right and down, opening the shoulders, lengthening the spine, and release into a butterfly twist. Right hand into the left knee, Breathing here, opening through the left arm, twisting the shoulders, opening through the hips. Reach your hand over to the other knee and feel your scapula unfurl their wings as you drop down into a forward bend. Keep on pressing your hands into your knees. Round up. Hug yourself. This time the left arm is over the right. Point the elbows up. And exhale. Slowly round down. Taking the left leg around the right, 
for a winding down twist and stretching the right deltoid as you bend both elbows and you feel the spinal twist and the shoulder opener happening at the same time. Deepen the breath. Release all the stuff that harbors in your shoulders and in your hips. Come back to the center, undo the bind, and wrap your legs the other way. Drop the knees to the left, gaze over to the right, hold opposite elbows, and stretch your deltoid. Lengthen here in this spiral, ascending from the earth to the crown and from the crown back to the center of the earth. Feeling the spiral periodicity of universal fabric as you close into an open butterfly position and you bring your hands into your heart left over the right. Close your eyes. Rest your awareness in your hips Begin to exhale all conditioned beliefs and emotional residue that have harbored there. As you inhale, fill up the pelvis with orange light. The light permeates every cell, disentangles the energetic knots that may have stuck there. Now raise the focus in your shoulders. Fill them up with a cool blue light, relieving any stiffness and insecurity. Allow the blue color of the shoulders pour down into the pelvis and the orange glow from the pelvis rise up to the shoulders, creating a purple radiance of the inner witness. Notice how you have regained your confidence and recovered your vitality. The tension has dissolved into an appreciation of your soul's integrity and rekindled your sense of self. Reach your hands over the head Inhale the energy, bringing the hands into the floor, curl your chin in and slowly round up in a comfortable cross-legged seat from where we started, reconnecting with yourself and reinventing yourself as you pour authenticity back into your heart and reignite your uniqueness and originality through your actions and responsible choices. Release down and breathe into that openness. It's yours.